back up, back up, back up, back up. All right, everybody, welcome back to the lab. As promised, we're going to go in and freeze off the displays for the S9 Plus. And thank you, Airborne 7, for challenging us. We hope you really like this video that we put out. One of the challenges that we see is whenever we're freezing the S9 Plus is, is the frame tape is actually holding on to the back tape. So what happens is whenever you freeze it, the back tape is still held on and it causes the actual display to lift up and separate from the back tapes. Based upon the S8, S8 Pluses, uh, the standard time is about two to three minutes in the freezer. Um, but we typically like to set it in there and be on standby. Whenever we do hear a popping sound or anything, you know, explode inside the freezer, then we actually know it's safe to go ahead and begin working on it. And this is going to depend, you know, your environment, um, the weather, and everything where you're working uh, changes. So um, it's just going to be trial and error and you guys experimenting with uh, the environment that you guys are in. So let's go ahead and dig in. We're going to go ahead and start separating these. Uh, we'll start separating uh, a glass only and then we'll go ahead and do a video with the frame assembly on. By the way guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. It helps us a lot and um, you guys can follow our journey. You know, this isn't something that we've just started. We've been in business for about three years now and um, you know, we're steadily growing. So we really appreciate you guys' support. So you can see the display is uh, its pretty decent. It does have some minor bruises or bleeds, I should say. These are bleeds right here down on the bottom, right? But other than that, I mean, touch is not working from, it looks from the three up. So touch is inoperable on this one. So let's go ahead and put this in the freezer. We'll freeze it for the standard amount, three minutes, and we'll pull it out and show you guys what happens to it. Okay, so three minutes has passed. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the display from the freezer. And wow can actually see that it split and the glass did pop. But if you notice, you can see here how the AMOLED display split. So the glass did break off, which is nice, but we did have this split between the uh, trying to see exactly what it is. It looks like it's the AMOLED. The AMOLED is right here. And then we have the uh, back tape, some type of uh, another layer. I am not too positive what layer that is, but you can see that it's all split up nice. And I actually did hear it pop at about a minute and a half in, so I should have probably opened the freezer, but for video's sake, I wanted to go ahead and do the full three minutes just so you guys can see what happens. So we do want the display to get back to normal room temperature before we test it. And hopefully everything is still functioning with just the bleeds down here on the bottom. So everything looks like it's mended back together. Let's go ahead and give it a test and see what happened. Looks like those bleeds on the bottom, they did end up bursting. Which I had a feeling they were. We don't recommend freezing anything if it's got bleeds. But, I mean, the glass was separated successfully, which is nice. Touch is still working in all the areas that we tested, so it's unresponsive from the mid up. So overall, I mean, I think that was a good freeze, you know, I mean, it, it works and should be good to freeze a good one. Just got to be very careful with these. I mean, 
I just hate seeing these split in the middle. It's just very scary to see these layers split up. So we really refrain, stay away from freezing these S9, S9 pluses. Um, but good thing is we do have another one. So I want to go ahead and give another one a shot. This one's going to be in frame. Um, I'm going to go less time on this one. I'm going to do about two minutes just so we can try to remove the frame first and then from there we'll remove the uh, glass if we can successfully. So let's go ahead and uh, test the next AMOLED that we're going to be working with. All right, so this is the display we're going to work with. We'll freeze this one for two minutes. Looks like touch and everything is fully responsive. It does have a line running across here from the impact and there is a small little bleed right here. So um, I'm hoping this bleed does not pop and spread. But we're gonna go ahead and freeze this one for like I said, two minutes. We'll let the freezer get down to normal temperature, which is about 185. And from there, we'll let it sit for the two minutes as mentioned. So we're about a minute and a half in and I heard the screen pop. So I'm going to go in and open up the freezer, take a look and see what's going on in here. And getting through this frame tape, guys, it's a challenge, you know, it is very stubborn. I cannot seem to get the plastic card that we used to go through. I don't know if Samsung's using a different type of frame tape, but that sucker is solid. So that may be the biggest challenge is uh, getting this frame removed, but that's probably one of the trickiest things is removing the frame, you know, because manually removing this frame with the heat plate, it is, you know, it's it takes some practice and it's not the easiest thing, so. I'm gonna set it back in here for a few more minutes. So see the two minutes rule of thumb, it really, you know, goes out the window. You know, so you just got to experiment with it. Be patient. Don't force anything. You know, if it's not going smooth, you don't want to put any kind of pressure or force in there. What's going to happen is if you do force it, you're going to end up causing the car to penetrate the AMOLED display and boom, game over. So you don't want that to happen. You know, these displays are very, very expensive. So this is one of the main reasons why we do not freeze the latest versions, S9, S9 Plus, Note 9, no no to freezer. All right, let's get back in this. some old handy dandy solution. Let's see if we can uh, soften up this frame tape. Yeah, but we're bottoming out on this frame tape. It's not budging whatsoever. 
No good, no good. There we go. I'm in. I'm the slot. Set it down a few more minutes. So it's just a little bit tougher, guys. You're gonna have to, um, you know, practice. You know, there is real no full method for this. It's just getting a good feel of the displays, practicing, knowing how much force you can actually apply, and and going from there. separated it properly and as you can see if you look right in here you can see how the separation from the back tape that I mentioned you have the back tape separating off from the actual AMOLED display which is fine it'll actually sit back down once it gets to temperature um, you know just don't irritate it just let it sit there and cool and get to normal temperature and you should be fine so frame was removed successfully. It does not look as if the glass has started to separate. So that's gonna be a whole nother step. We're gonna have to put it back in the freezer and hopefully it just pops right off and breaks so okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a test and we'll see, make sure that the display is working properly. Overall, it's good, guys. Nothing happened. There is a little bit of uh, glitching on the touch, but that's just because of the moisture that's on the screen from the from the freeze. But it's working. Touch is fully responsive, and it's good. So the next step is, of course, we're gonna have to put it back in here and then remove the glass from the AMOLED display. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this to sleep. And let's go ahead and freeze off the glass. All right, so we have hit temperature. I am gonna go ahead and uh, set the screen that we just tested in here. Let it sit a few minutes 
and cross my fingers, hope that the glass just pops right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pay close attention. I'm gonna make sure I listen to the screen. As soon as I hear any kind of popping sound, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and it should be ready to uh, remove the glass from the actual AMOLED display. And it's kind of a crappy day today because they're actually working on our front door. They had to replace it. So we have our AC off since there is no door. We didn't want to be running anything. So the freezer is constantly dropping in temperature. So um, just making it a little bit more challenging for us. But regardless, we love challenges. So nothing's going to stop us from making a video. It's just going to take a little bit more time. But um, in essence, we'll make sure to get this done. So I haven't heard any popping. It's been about two and a half minutes. So I'm gonna go and open it up and see where we're at. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like it's separated. You guys can see here, everything's separated. The glass is off. Partially off. The back tape did separate from the actual AMOLED display. Let's see. Look at that, it's crazy. Glass is off, but not completely off, so that's going to be a challenge trying to get this all off. You know, see, this glue is just stubborn. It's not as easy as the S8 Pluses, so this is why we stay away from freezing these because. I mean, now the technician's gonna have to set this on the plate and remove this with the wire. So, regardless of what happens, it, um, yeah, it's just a challenge. But I believe what happened here was, more than likely, since it did bend up, it was lifting up, so not leaving any uh, area for the actual glass to touch down on the on the freezer. So that's why just the bottom part removed. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set this back on and I'm gonna try to, I'm trying to think how we can possibly get it to where this part sits down. Maybe if we get like a mold. Let me try setting something on top of there. Have that top part pop off right there. So it looks like this handy dandy mold came in came in pretty handy. So we were able to sit it down and, and prevent the actual bullet from popping up. So let's bring this back to normal temperature and we'll give this a test. Alright, let's go ahead and give this bad boy a test. And let's see how she came out. Ooh, lost it. Boom. Touch is still working. But yeah, the display went out completely. So normally what happens here is it's more than likely due to the flex, the flex bent. So whenever the screen arched, over it caused strain right on here and it caused it to have this discoloration and everything on here so this one is no good no good no good I should have tested it after I went ahead and um, froze it the first time but I didn't but yeah you can see the discoloration and it's all on the flex right here See that? Fail. We do have one more to try, so let's go ahead and give another one a shot, and we'll hopefully be able to get that one to uh, work okay. We first want to test it, make sure that the touch and everything is working properly. So in this case, it is working fully. 
Um, it does have a small little blem right on top here, which is fine. We'll just have to be careful and cross our fingers. Hopefully it doesn't pop and cause any more damage when we do freeze it. So let's go ahead and put this in here. I'll stand by and we'll go ahead and separate the mid frame. All right, so we've had it here for a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attempt the mid frame removal first. frame tape is still too strong. I'm going to sit in a little bit longer and hopefully it softens up.
camera and mid-frame is removed. We did see some splitting once again between the uh, back tape and the AMOLED. But overall it looks like it's good. So we're going to bring this back down to normal temperature and then we'll give it another test. She's a beauty. So I'm just hoping up on top here it didn't bleed, and it looks like it didn't bleed, so it's good. So mid-frame was successful. Which is awesome. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different, because what I'm thinking that happened on that last display was due to it curving due to the glass breaking and it just curved up and it caused the actual AMOLED here to, or the uh, flex cable to bend. See that when it curved, it actually curves and causes any kind of bends. You don't want any of this stuff to bend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape down the glass onto the in inside of the AMOLED. That way it stays flat and flush and hopefully we just get the glass to just pop right off. So let's go ahead and bring out some old handy duct tape here. So we tested the display, it's working fine. Let's just dry this off. And we will, oh shit. Don't do that with the screen guys. I'm gonna give it another test since I body slammed this one well. It's still good. Alright, good. Yeah, don't body slam the screens, guys. It's not recommended. Okay. The top is when I try to move too quick. I'm trying to do too many things at once. My mind doesn't ever stop. I'm just like, hey, just gotta take my time. But then again, I'm in a hurry. I wanna get this video out to you guys so you guys can see what we do. I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack, about that much, that way when it does pop, it has some relief and the glass will just come right off, so I hope. And this is just an experiment, guys. We haven't tried this. I'm just doing this for YouTube purposes and just to show you guys, so this isn't, you know, the proper way of doing it, but I'm just anxious to see what may happen. And this keeps everything intact, but we will find out right now. So we'll wait a few more minutes, let this get down to temperature, and we'll drop her down. All right, so we have hit temperature. Let's go ahead and set the display inside the freezer, and let's hope that the tape does its job.
so it looks like the screen didn't survive here on the edge. It looks like we clipped the polarizer. So this was not a successful separation. The display stayed together with the frame tape and everything, but it just looks like it just didn't separate from the glass, the OCA, so. So it was a good try. We'll try this again. Alright, so we have separated it okay. It looks like we did have some issues down here on the bottom right. Looks like we clipped the polarizer when we were coming through with the card. Um, I'm not sure if that's where the glass was broke on top. Well, let's take a look and let's try to see where we had the error come in. So that's the bottom. Can't see the top, but I know there was some damage up on top here. So yeah, that's one of the major reasons why we are not freezing these at this moment. Just because, you know, the success rate is very low. We don't like doing these just because it's too much risk. And yeah, see that we got bleeding and everything. So this display did not survive. See that it bled out. So it could have been the conditions, you know, I mean, right now we're running without air conditioner in the shop and I should have probably picked a better day to do this. With the front door being replaced, uh, we have no AC running here, so it's causing the temperature on the freezer to drop down tremendously. Um, yeah, or it could have been this bleed up on top, but um, we'll get another screen in the future and we'll give this another try so hopefully we do have a successful separation so so as of now i mean i would recommend you guys can go ahead and freeze off the mid frame and the bezel but as far as doing the glass and the oled you know just be extra cautious because of that separation from the uh, back tape and the amoled it's going to cause it to bend arc and that can actually bend the flex cable or even damage the AMOLED display. So um, unfortunately this was an unsuccessful attempt for two S9 pluses, but um, it's all good. It's all practice and I'm sure in the future we'll probably get this nailed down. But as of now, like I said, for, um, you know, just because there's such a low success rate with these, we just manually do it all. So thanks for watching guys and be on the lookout. We're going to have another video coming up soon. So. Make sure you guys subscribe and click the bell down on the bottom right so you guys get notifications whenever we come out with the next video. Cheers.